established in 1999, V Groups began its journey as a specialized service provider in the Occupational Health Services (OHC) sector, operating in the South India region with a base in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh. In 2005, the company expanded its offerings to include equipment services, demonstrating a commitment to adaptability and growth. Over the years, V Groups further diversified its portfolio, introducing equipment rentals and comprehensive maintenance services, including AMC, Annual Maintenance Contract, and CMC, Comprehensive Maintenance Contract, for machines. With a pan-India presence and a global footprint in Dubai and the United Kingdom, V Groups has positioned itself as a versatile and reliable player in the equipment services industry. Acute Encephalitis Syndrome AES, Due to Chandipur Virus Overview, Discovery, Epidemiology, Symptoms, Prevention, and Treatment Description of the Situation Between early June and 15 August 2024 the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare of the Government of India reported 245 cases of ICE including 82 deaths, CFR 33%. A total of 43 districts in India are currently reporting ICE cases. Cases are sporadically present across various districts as in previous outbreaks. Notably, there is a rise in CHPV outbreaks every 4 to 5 years in Gujarat state. Of the total 245 ICE cases reported, CHPV has been confirmed in 64 cases through immunoglobulin M enzyme linked immunosorbent assay, IMELISA, or reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, RT PCR. Of the 64 confirmed cases, 61 cases have been reported from Gujarat state and 3 from Rajasthan state. A declining trend in the number of new cases of ICE has been observed daily since the 19th of July 2024. 1. 2. To date, no human-to-human -human transmission has been reported. In 2003, a large outbreak of ICE was reported in Andhra Pradesh, with 329 suspected cases and 183 deaths. A study suggests that this was due to CHPV. 2. Introduction Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today, we are diving deep into a critical health issue that has been a concern in various parts of the world, especially in India, acute encephalitis syndrome, AES, caused by the Chandipur virus. Let's explore what this condition is, its discovery, symptoms, prevention, and treatment methods. What is acute encephalitis syndrome? AES Acute encephalitis syndrome AES refers to a broad group of neurological conditions that primarily affect the brain leading to inflammation or swelling these conditions can be triggered by various infectious agents toxins or even non-infectious causes when we talk specifically about ice caused by the chandipur virus it becomes an even more serious issue this virus can rapidly lead to symptoms of severe encephalitis, especially in children, often resulting in death or long-term neurological damage. Chandipur Virus Discovery and Overview The Chandipur virus is a lesser known but deadly member of the Rhabdoviridae family, the same family that includes the rabies virus. It was first identified in 1965 by a group of scientists led by Dr. N. J. Bhattu and others, at the National Institute of Virology, Pune, India. It is named after a village in Maharashtra, India, where the virus was first isolated from two patients with febrile illness. This virus primarily spreads through sandflies, phlebotomous species, which are its main vectors. However, it has also been detected in mosquitoes suggesting that other vectors might play a role in its transmission. Epidemiology of Chandipur Virus Now, let's talk about the epidemiology of the Chandipur virus. While Chandipur virus is not as widespread as other viral diseases, it has caused significant outbreaks in India and some neighboring countries. India The first known outbreak was in 2003 in the southern state of Andhra Pradesh. 
which caused alarm due to its rapid spread and high fatality rate, primarily affecting children. Following this, outbreaks were recorded in states like Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra. Other affected countries Although it is most prevalent in India, there have been isolated reports of Chandipur virus-like cases in Sri Lanka, Nepal, and Pakistan. However, the virus remains predominantly an issue in India, particularly in rural and tribal regions where healthcare infrastructure might be weaker, and people are more exposed to vector-borne diseases. Seasonality Outbreaks usually occur during the monsoon season, June to October, which is also the peak time for vector activity, sandflies. Children aged 2 to 16 are most susceptible to this virus. Symptoms of ice due to Chandipur virus Symptoms of ice caused by the Chandipur virus often appear suddenly and can progress rapidly. The incubation period, the time between infection and the onset of symptoms, is relatively short, usually within 2 to 4 days. Here are the main symptoms. 1. High fever a sudden rise in body temperature. 2. Headache dash severe and persistent. 3. Vomiting dash often uncontrollable. 4. Seizures dash convulsions are common, especially in children. 5. Altered mental status dash confusion, disorientation, irritability, or even unconsciousness. 6. Coma dash in severe cases, the patient may rapidly progress into a coma. Children infected with the Chandipur virus often exhibit these symptoms in quick succession. Unfortunately, if untreated, the disease can lead to death within 24 to 48 hours of onset. Prevention of Chandipur Virus Infection Since the Chandipur virus is transmitted by sandflies, the focus on prevention revolves around avoiding contact with these vectors. Here are some key preventive measures. 1. Vector control Use insecticides to reduce sandfly populations in endemic areas. Conduct fogging during outbreaks. Use larvicides to control sandfly breeding. 2. Personal protection Use mosquito nets and insect repellents to reduce the risk of sandfly bites, especially during the night when sandflies are most active. Wear long-sleeved clothing and cover as much skin as possible when going outdoors, particularly in rural areas. 3. Community Awareness Educate local populations about the importance of personal protection. Promote clean living conditions and encourage the destruction of sandfly habitats, such as damp soil, leaf litter, etc. 4. Surveillance and Early Detection Continuous monitoring of vector populations and early detection of new cases can help control outbreaks early on. Treatment of ice due to Chandipur virus Currently, no specific antiviral treatment is available for the Chandipur virus, making symptomatic and supportive care critical. 1. Symptomatic Treatment Fever reduction with antipyretics like paracetamol Rehydration therapy if the patient experiences excessive vomiting. Seizure control with antiepileptic drugs like diazepam or phenytoin. 2. Intensive care. In severe cases, especially when the patient has progressed to encephalitis or is in a coma, intensive care is necessary. Mechanical ventilation might be required if the patient's respiratory system becomes compromised. 3. Management of Complications If the patient survives the acute phase, ongoing neurological rehabilitation may be needed to recover from potential brain damage. 4. Vaccine Development There is no vaccine available yet, but research is ongoing to develop one to prevent the spread of the virus. Conclusion Acute encephalitis syndrome due to the Chandipur virus is a severe condition that demands immediate attention, especially in endemic regions. Though rare globally, its impact in India has been significant, 
particularly in rural areas where outbreaks have led to a high number of fatalities among children. Preventing the disease largely relies on vector control and awareness, as treatment options are limited to managing the symptoms. However, with improved healthcare infrastructure, surveillance, and potential vaccine development, the future might hold hope for reducing the impact of this deadly virus. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more informative content on health and science topics. Stay safe and take care. We sincerely appreciate you taking the time to watch our content on Groups. Your support means the world to us, and we are thrilled to have you as part of our community. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing ensures that you stay updated with our latest videos, updates, and exciting content. By subscribing, you become an integral part of our growing community, and your support inspires us to create more engaging and valuable content for you. Thank you for being a part of the Groups family. We look forward to bringing you more entertaining and informative content in the future. If you have any suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. Once again, thank you for your support, and we can't wait to share more exciting moments with you on Groups.